all are fine welcome to our anthem this class my dear students we have started the new chapter of mathematics that is our chapter number 8 what is the name of our chapter yes very good chapter number 8 division okay what is the spelling of division d i v i s i o n division okay in the last session we have learned what is division in that we distribute equal number of balloons right we have taken one example the distribution of number of object equally among the friends or any number right it means the equal distribution equal number of sharing is nothing but division okay so now in today's class we are going to learn how to solve problem based on division so are you ready for that yes open your notebook and write down chapter number 8 division example number 1 shall i read example all right what is example number 1 
take a number of divisor that is number 3 start a table of 3 up to that number if number is there then you got to answer definitely if number is not there then what we have to do that we will see in the next session actual how to solve division problem all right but before that you just check and find out number 18 is there or not start the multiplication table of 3 shall i start 3 1 the 3 3 2 the 6 3 3 the 9 3 4 the 12 after that yes 3 5 the 15 and 3 6 the 18 so what is your answer is equal to answer is what 6 so if you distribute 6 6 pairs among your 3 friends among 3 children then how many pairs are there you can share equally 18 pens. Alright, so what is the six? Six is your answer. Or six is quotient, we can say that. Right? As is the word problem. So again, we have to mention this answer in the word. What is the question? How many pens does each of them get? So we will write it down. Six pens. Right? Six pens. each of them. Alright? Now, the next is, as I told you, number 80 is what? Divider. 3 is what? Divisor. And 6 is what? Quotient. So, I mentioned over here in the box, can be mentioned, divider, divisor, total number of paint is your divider, that is 80. Alright, what is divisor? Number of children, that is 3. And what is the answer? 3, 18 divided by 3. Answer is 6. And that 6 is your quotient. Okay, now your division problem is done. But still, if you are getting confused that your answer is correct or wrong, then you can cross check. How? I will tell you. If First, we have learned the multiplication, right? So, do one thing. For cross-checking the answer, just multiply your divisor and quotient. Do the multiplication of divisor and quotient and the answer is exactly same as divider when your division process is corrected. Shall I cross-check? Okay. What I told you? We will use the different mark, okay? Your divider is equal to, I am writing down circuit, children, because I don't have this much of space. If divider is equal to divisor, multiply by quotient. Then your answer is right. Just cross check 3 multiply by 6. Divisor is 3, multiply by quotient is 6. Start a table of 3 up to 6, or you can start a table of 6. 6 1 the 6, 6 2 the 12, 6 3 is the 18. That only you are looking at? Yes, same answer. Here also 18, here also 18. It means your answer 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6 is correct. Okay? By if you see carefully, then here division process is the reverse of multiplication. They both are interrelated with each other or we can say that division and multiplication that both are reverse operation or reverse process. If you take a multiplication of divisor and division quotient, you will get division. Or for division, if you divide or you can take a division of division and divisor, you will get quotient. Right? Understood? Why the division and multiplication of the reverse process? Yes? Very good. So, this is about how to solve word problem. Now, after that, we will solve one more problem. Example number 2. Okay? Before example number 2, I have drawn something on the whiteboard. Can you tell me what is there? This is what we have already learned. 
in class 1 and 2 for addition by using finger and by using what is this? This is number line. The line having numbers called as number line. So we can solve the division problem also on the number line. Okay. Just see what is the example? Example is 12 divided by 4. Can you solve this example number 2? 12 divided by 4. What I told you? Start the multiplication table of divisor. Here 12 is a dividend and 4 is a what? Divisor. Okay. So start table of 4. 4 1s are 4. 4 2s are 8. 4 3 is 12. What is the answer? 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Right? Your portion is what? 3. Now, what is the use of this number line? How can you get the number line? We can show. Right? What is your dividend? Dividend is number 12. So, your number 12 is over here. Right? After that, here, 12 divided by 4 means you can go back of 4 places up to how many groups? For 3 groups like 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is your first group. Okay, this is your first group or we can say that first round. Then, again go 4 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. You are only here. This is your second round. Or we can say the second group. Similarly, now go again for this 1, 2, 3, 4. Have you finally reach On number 0? Yes, very good. Means when you start from your dividend. And for what number you have to make a group? 4. Because your divisor is 4. So for check, cross checking the answer, you can use a number line also. You can do the division process on the number line. Okay. So what I did? Make a group of 4. So I'll use a number of each. Then 4 and 0. So how many groups? 3 groups. So what is the answer? 3. And 3 is called as quotient. Right. Again if you cross check this. What I told you for cross checking? What you have to do? Take a multiplication of divisor and quotient. Divisor is 4. Quotient is 3. So 4 multiplied by 3. Start table of 4. 4 1s are 4. 4 2s are 8. 4 3s are 12. Right? Your dividend is 12. Am I right? Same dividend? Yes. So we can say that this 4 and 3 are the multiplication factor of number 12. Right? These both are what? Multiplication factor. Yes? Understood? Understood how to solve the division problem? How to solve by using number line? Now, we will solve one more problem. That is example number 3. Again, word problem. In the textbook, if you see the textbook, on the page number 19, 20 and 21, we have such kinds of word problem. Okay? So, you just do one thing. Try to solve this both the problem. Example number 3, 4 and 5 in your notebook. Alright? Shall we start? How to solve the division word problem? Example number 3. What is example number 3? Deepa shares Deepa shares 15 lollipops among her Five friends. In say, if she share the lollipop among only the three, then how many more lollipops does each of them get? First of all, the pa has how many lollipops? Number of lollipops are fifteen. If she share fifteen lollipops among five friends, first she share. This 15 lollipops among how many friends? 5 friends, right? Yes. And if instead of 5 friends, if she distribute among the 3 friends, 
then obviously each friend will get something extra right then how many extra that we have to find out how many more or how many extra that number of lollipops we have to find it out can you find out yes very good because what we will do we will mention total number of lollipops total number of lollipops how many are there total number of lollipops 50 if she share this lollipop among how many friends five friends then each will get how many my students then if she share this lollipop among the five friends i'm writing in shortcut okay because i don't have this much of space all right you just refer the textbook in that each and every word is there that how to solve and how to write here just we are discussing this problem if she share the 15 lollipops among five friends then how can you write in the statement yes 15 divided by how many five because she share among five friends so what will be the answer what we have to do stand it up five up to the 15 like five ones are five five twos are ten five threes are fifty it means if she distribute if she share among five friends each will get yes then each will get three lollipops am i right each will get how many three lollipops but instead of what is the second condition instead of five friends if she shares this lollipop among the three only instead of this if she share among the three friends then each will get how many each will get how many 15 divided by 3 so start with table of 3 start with table of 3 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 3 threes are 9 Three fours are twelve. Three fives are fifteen. Right? What is the answer? Five. Each friend will get how many lollipops? Each will get five lollipops. Right? Now, what is the question? If she shares instead of five, she shares among the three friends, then how many more lollipops? Now we have to find out what, how many more lollipop we get. Each friend will get. So what we have to do? We have to do the subtraction between when she distributed among the three friends and when she distributed among the five friends. When she distributed among the three friends, each will get how many? Five lollipops, right? And when she distributed, she share fifty lollipop among the five. Will get three. So five minus three, two. So how many lollipops more? Two lollipops more. Right? Two lollipops more. Each will get. Each will get how many lollipop more? Each pen will get two lollipop more instead of five. If she distributes among the three friends, right? Understood? How to solve division problem? How to use number line? How to write the division statement? How the division and multiplication are reverse process? Understood? How to cross check your answer? If you get your answer, then do the multiplication between divisor and quotient. If you get the same number of dividend, then your division is right. Okay, so my dear students, today we will stop over here. Next part that is how to divide by divide division of three digit number by one digit and two digit that we will see in the next session. Till that time, thank you.